It's Christmas time. Cooper and I both got like electric guitar packs for Christmas. How excited are you excited? Oh, I'm excited. We're gonna unpack them, unbox them for you right now, show you what they come with, and talk to you about which one is maybe the best if you are shopping for an electric guitar pack for yourself or a loved one. Check it out. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you'd like to support the channel, make sure to visit our Teespring store linked below for some custom designed t-shirts. And of course, you can shop on our website, alamomusic.com, for packs like these. So Cooper, it's oh, Christmas yeah. time. I celebrate Hanukkah, Chris. It's holiday time. It's holiday time. So I also like Christmas. That's good. I, I do like too. them all. I like Thanksgiving. <laughs> I like all that stuff. I like to eat things and I like presents. And so these <laughs> are some great options. You know, we're doing this video because you might be watching this as someone who's wanting to get their first guitar, which is kind of what these packs are designed for. Or you might be watching this video because you search for some help as a parent or another loved one looking for someone's first electric guitar. And that's really what these packs are designed to fulfill. So we're looking at two of the most popular electric guitar packs that are on the market today and readily available. So I've got the Squire pack, which is probably one of the more famous ones. I mean, I, yeah. I've seen Squires just for years, long before I ever worked at Alamo Music or even played guitar. And then of course you've got the Yamaha. Yeah, this is a little, little newer. Right. Um, well, I think the Pacific has been out for a while, but yeah, yeah but the, the, the pack, pack I'm not itself, too familiar with. Yeah, so I got the Gig Maker electric guitar pack. It's got a Pacifica, basically Strat style uh, electric guitar, and it's got a bunch of goodies inside. So, which one do you want to open up first? I think we should open them up at the same time. And one thing I'll note for those of you who might be wrapping these, mine is a lot thinner than the box Cooper has. I don't know why, but I do like the presentation that each of these has. Yeah, you've got that one. Oh, look at that. You're just as strong. Oof. <laughs> so they both look great. So when, uh, when someone rips open, open that packaging, they're going to see exactly what they're getting and be super excited. But there are definitely some differences between these. Before we go into these like giddy kids on, on a holiday morning <laughs> or, or a Hanukkah evening, um, let me ask you this. What uh, Do you have a particular gift that you got for the holidays that like, sticks out in your mind as a child? I got a lizard. Really? Yeah. Everyone wants to know this story. Yeah. His name was Slice. He's a leopard gecko, and he lasted me for about 13 years. Wow. He went blind, and I had him euthanized. Oh. Which I think it was that veterinary clinic's first lizard euthanasia. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I was with him to the end, so. Wow. He's a good guy. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I like that. Um, I remember, you know, you asked me once, did I ever, did I ever get a, a Christmas guitar? And I mm -hmm. never did. But my mom was very slick. I was one of those really terrible kids that got into all of my gifts early. Mm -hmm. My mom, rest her soul, probably had no idea that I was like steaming open tape. And, and then closing things up so I knew what I was getting Christmas morning. And I remember one year, I was probably in sixth grade, fifth grade, something like that. I was about that age. There was a huge box. And to really date myself, I thought what was in there was probably uh, a variety of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys. Like mm -hmm. the van and stuff. Or, you know, who knows? But it, I knew that there was, there was something in that box that was not from that box because I already steamed open the tape and it was like a Washington Apples box or something. Um, and then that Christmas morning, I opened it up and it was full of newspaper. And I spread off the top and inside was a Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And I got the SNES the year it came out. I was super excited. Uh, I've got photos of that. So, you know, there's always those... So certain presents that really stick, stick out with for you. you. Yeah. And I'm hoping that for someone, something like this will be that for them. Everybody likes to get a big box with their name on it. So oh, yeah. this is a great option. Cool. Well, we're going to dig in. I don't need this right now, but you can borrow my knife. Thank you, sir. But without any further ado. I have the knife. Let's get into it.
<laughs> Cooper, where'd you go? Uh. That's an ant. I think we're done with Christmas. Or Hanukkah, Cooper. <laughs> Here, let me hold your gun. Hold this. Mmm. Got it. Got it. Okay. So, one thing we can guarantee for sure is if you buy one of these packs, you're going to have a lot of stuff all over your living room floor on that fateful morning. Yes. If you buy both of these packs, you won't be able to see your living room floor on that fateful morning, which you probably wouldn't be able to anyway. But um, I think the bigger box that Yamaha uh, included was really just so they could pack as much paper in there as possible. I think that was most of the fun, was just throwing that never-ending stream of paper. <laughs> I think that's a Jason Valdez job right that's, there. That's a that's yeah. a I, that's classic packing right there. I love it. All right, so here we are. We've got the two guitars. Now, one of the things that we should say starting off is the price difference between these two packs. Um, and there's kind of an elephant in the room, and I want to address it because if you're searching online for a Squire pack, you're going to be aware of this. Um, these between these two packs, the Squire is more expensive than the Yamaha but there is a Squire pack that is less expensive. It comes with uh, a different guitar, it doesn't have a humbucker, and it has a different amp, and that's why I didn't include it, because these are closer together as far as spec-wise. Um, but do know that, that there's a less expensive Squire pack out there, but between these two, the Squire's more expensive. So let's compare the guitars first of all. We've got double cutaway, Strat style, specifically mm -hmm. this is a Stratocaster, that's a Strat style yep. guitar. Uh, this They're both, Two single, single coils humbuckers. Does yours have a five-way switch? Um, it should, this right? does have a five-way switch, but it does not have two tone knobs. Right, just one volume, one tone. Both have tremolos. Mm -hmm. I had the arm. Did you have the arm? Yes, I do. It's somewhere on here. I saw the arm. We <laughs> okay. got the arm. Uh, in this case, these are both kind of sunburst colors. Yours is... Old violin. Old violin sunburst, and this is tobacco sunburst or something like that. This guitar also is available in a metallic red, like a candy apple red. Yours is... As is this one. There's like a red, a black, and a blue, I believe. Yeah, okay. Maple Necks, very similar guitars overall. Um, you know, this is the Stratocaster, and that's Yamaha's take on the Stratocaster, basically. So, you know, you're going to put these through their paces. We're going to see how different they sound. Yeah. But let's take a look at the amps, because I, I get a feeling the amps are very different. Now, these are both... 15 watt amps. I've got, this is a Fender Frontman 15G. It's got normal volume. It's got dry volume, so this is two channel. You've got gain, treble middle bass. There's an aux in and a headphone out. I also call that headphone out the parent saver. Mm. Um, so, <laughs> so that your child uh, or significant other can play with headphones in. Um, there's also an aux in on this, which is kind of cool. Now, it's interesting, it's using uh, kind of RCA style jacks to get that in, but you could effectively plug in a phone yeah. with like an adapter and have some sounds come through here that you play along to, uh, supposedly. But I think it's interesting that it's a 15 watt dual channel amp. Is yours two channels? Yeah, so okay. this one does have a drive channel and the three EQ. Um, it's got an aux in and a headphone jack, but they are like those 3.5 millimeter. They're not the uh, RCA or quarter inch. Which makes more sense, I think, yeah, actually. It's a little more accessible to, you can probably just plug this right in the day that you get it. This is the GA152 Yamaha amp, 15 watt, um, get clean or get dirty. Um, it's, it's a cool little amp. We've actually seen a couple of these packs go in, uh, in the recent weeks because it's holiday time and I have plugged in this amp with this guitar, and it sounds pretty good. You know, I'm I'm partial to the look of the Fender because it's got that classic yeah. black face, silver cloth Fender look. 
but something tells me that these amps aren't too far apart sound wise so we'll find yeah. out yeah, with definitely. this head-to-head -head comparison now let's look at the accessories we got so i got a gig bag as did i look at that it's wrapped still but it's in there i'm sure you can see let me, let me feel that they're about the same not really thickly padded, but you know, good enough gig bag. Yeah. These gig bags, by the way, if you've never had one, they're pretty thin. They've got some padding in there, but you'd be kind of surprised once you put the guitar in it, how much kind of structure and, and kind yeah. of solid feel comes along with it. Now let's look at the other accessories. So uh, we got tremolo bar. You got one. I got one. Strap. There's your bar right there for the Yamaha. <laughs> Now you got all, you, you also know. got some Allen wrenches, right? Yeah. Did you get a spring? Um, no, there's no spring in here. I got a couple Allen wrenches. Oof. So I got a few Allen wrenches, an extra spring, and some picks. Looks like two. I got three. Three. There's three. One's hiding. Okay, whatever. Okay, so three picks. Three picks. All right. A tuna fish. I did not get a tuna fish. No, there's no tuner in this pack. I got a strap. Did you get a strap? I got a strap. Okay. So I think we're, I'm a little ahead here. I got yep. a tuner. You got a tuner. Um, there, is there, there's not a tuner on the amp, right? I don't believe so. No, nope, there's no tuner on the amp. Um, okay. Did you get a cable? I got a cable. I feel like I got a cable, but I can't tell. Oh! <laughs> I got a cable okay. as well. So the power cable. cable for the amp is connected inside. So okay, you so have I have a secondary. External. Is yours fixed on it is, or does it disconnect? This is fixed. Okay, I will say I prefer this. Yeah. Now, some will say that means it can get lost, but this is literally the same type of connection that like computer towers and yeah. so many other things have come with for years. Um, and you can buy longer and shorter versions of this. So I, I think that that doesn't make up for the lack of tutor, but yes. I do prefer that. So what do you have right there? So I think this is the answer to your. So you got a DVD. That's and marketing. That matter. No. This is a DVD of maybe some lessons or kind of a how-to to kind of. It's lessons. Set up your whole thing. It says we got setting up your guitar using your accessories, chords, and more. I got a Fender Play card which is pretty cool. It's three months of prepaid. So if you're not familiar with Fender Play, Fender Play is an online tutorial um, along with like a community uh, of players who are getting started. There's a lot of stuff on there beyond just beginning. You know, there's some more kind of intermediate uh, content on there. So there's a code that you scratch off on the back, uh, which I'm obviously not going to do. Oh, well, that's funny. The card is made by Tops. Like the, doing a little the, baseball, the cards. little baseball card yeah. trading. So, but yeah, so this is a three month uh, prepaid card for Fender. There's a lot of great content on Fender Play, and you know, I think there's an online tuner through the Fender Play app, um, and you can use Fender Play on your computer or on your like iPad, smartphone. Yeah. So it's very flexible. I think that might be better than the DVD. Well, yeah, so if you're not familiar with Fender Play, it's a great resource. If you're not familiar with DVDs, you used to watch <laughs> movies on them. Um, and maybe your grandparents had a DVD player. Oh. Um, so this is definitely strange to me, but you would be surprised how many people come in and they bought their first guitar and they're like, do you have any DVDs or books? And I'm always inclined to say, have you heard of YouTube? There is an endless amount of information. Obviously, if you're watching this, you know what I'm talking about. You know what, though? We did a video, you and I, talking about practice. Practice. Which you should link to on there, particularly if you're looking for your first guitar. And we did make the case that if you are not on your computer, smartphone, or, or like tablet, yeah, you're that have... you're probably going to have less distractions. Yeah. So there could be a benefit of having the DVD. The definite obvious downside is you're not streaming. You're in a more fixed location. You can't like be on the go yeah. and looking at it. There's no built-in tuner on that, obviously. Yeah. And I, there's probably just more content yeah. available through Fender Play, for sure. I had a friend who um, would just wake up every morning. He had Fender Play on his iPhone, and he'd just do like three lessons every morning. And he just you know, improved exponentially over that time. I think that Fender Play is probably, you talked about subscription services. Probably kind of the way of the future when it comes to um, 
you know, content for learning. Um, There's a few out there. You've got True Fire. You've got some others. Ones. Musician. The, the, the downside is you will always have that DVD as long yeah. as you have a DVD player yeah. to play it. If you, by the way, don't have a DVD player, sorry. Um, <laughs> this is a three-month trial yeah. after which you have to pay for it. So your choices are get all of the content out of it in three months that you possibly can, be done with it, and move on. Um, or once three months is up and you like the service... Uh, you can pay for it on a monthly basis. It's not that expensive. So, yeah. um, in fact, you can also buy from us cards that have six months and twelve months and other things like that. So, um, but yeah, you know what? You got a little bit more. I'm kind of I've kind of miffed about the tuner. The tuner, you know, that's huge for me. I love the tuner because I love to be in tune. But there again, you can go free online tuners. There you can is, find a way. I'm just gonna play devil's advocate though. Like if I got this, all of my sons now have smartphones and they can have tuner apps and all of that yeah. stuff, right? But say you bought this for someone who doesn't have a smartphone, and now you're having to give them their smartphone every time they go tune, or you're having to go buy a tuner, or they have to be in mm -hmm. front of the computer to tune, which you probably would before a lesson anyway, but I don't know. I think the tuner's a nice addition. I'd prefer the online lessons to the DVD. That's there's some trade-offs. Yeah. I, I would say that the Fender Play does give it a pretty big leg up. Um, and that guitar is, how, $50 cheaper, that pack? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah. So, you know, definitely some, some good value. With the, with the discount, you could probably pay for Fender Play for three months. Yeah. So, totally. Know. Anyways. Um, but how are they as guitars? Yeah. So good. we've unboxed them. It's all in front of us. Um, but now the question is, if you are buying this, the combination of guitar and amp, Cooper's going to play these, um, and he's going to play them not through this Fender amp, but through the amps that they came with, so you could really get a feel for yourself of what these guitars sound like right out of the box once we tune them with the tuner. All right, so let's check it out. Thank you. 
So there you have it, an unboxing and demonstration of two of the most popular packs of electric guitars that are going to be available this holiday season. The Squire Stratocaster pack and the Yamaha Pacifica Gigmaker pack. Uh, we've switched guitars from what we were holding and this is noticeably heavier. Yeah, I a uh, little surprised. I kind of, after holding that one, expected it to be the same. This I, is definitely lighter. I wonder why. Um, Interesting. There's just some real feel differences for yes. sure. Um, but they both feel like this next a little thicker. Yeah, I, I I do like the kind of finish or lack thereof. You know, on, on both of these, both yeah, of these. the satin yeah. finish. Yeah, it feels really, really nice. Very comfortable. They're really great guitars. I noticed on this one, it's it's called this is the Deluxe Pacifica 012. And you know, I've actually really liked Pacific as I've I've kind of lamented that they don't have broader market share um, because I think they're really good guitars, and I just like what Yamaha tends to make. They're a fantastic company with their instruments. All their acoustic guitars are great. I'd love to see their electrics kind of catch on more. Yeah. And given that you know this pack has come out to be extremely competitive, really undercutting the price of the Fender, um, you know, we could definitely see you know maybe some some uh, adopters of it in that regard. But these are both really good options. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's weird, there's like things about each one that I kind of prefer over the other. This is the most shallow thing ever, but I do prefer that burst a little it's bit. It's a little more subtle. Yeah, it's yeah. warmer, it looks, you know, this is, it's cool too. I, I would mean, get the red one. I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm partial to red. I know that there's some people that, uh, particularly you know, if you have a guitar hero that plays like a burst strat, like, you know, uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan or something. Yeah, you'll probably want that. But I really like the red finish on that with the humbucker. Yeah. Um, and then of course the you've got the uh, the lower priced version with all three single coils, which is a good option. I think it's cool to have the humbucker option though on both of these because you can play them all and then know, you know, if you're looking for that next step, um, you kind of want something with all single coils, or you want something with two humbuckers. Or if you want to keep going with the HSS kind of Definitely more variety. versatile options. Yeah, yeah. so um, it's cool. These The pack itself will sustain you as a beginner for a good bit, I think. My, my most pleasant surprise with both of these is uh, two-channel lamps. Yeah, it's having cool. Having a, a drive channel is really great. I remember having amps that was just, you turn it up so much and that was about all you got was yeah. the sound of the amp wheezing. Uh, so definitely improvements yeah. over what we used to have back in the day so anyways fantastic options for you hopefully this answers some of your questions how big a mess you'll have on your floor how great the packs are i think fender did a better job of packing their pack <laughs> but if you need paper afterwards yamaha is definitely where it's at great amp options yeah great guitar options you know some different uh lesson options but all around uh some pretty good you know compelling reasons to look at either of these Hopefully those answered your questions, but if it didn't answer all the questions that you have, make sure to go to our website, alamomusic.com. You can see which packs we have in stock and visit with someone on there about some of the offerings. And by the way, if you're looking for a pack or a bundle that is above this, something maybe with a nicer guitar, we have done some really cool things this year for you. On our website, you'll find a number of bundles that we have custom built with manufacturers that you can take advantage of and during the holidays get some extra savings as well. So you can take a look at stuff from Squire or Fender that comes with all of the goodies. We even have some acoustic packs that we've put together and some real high-end packs where you can buy something like uh, a really nice Fender or a Taylor guitar and get some bonus things with it as part of a bundle. So make sure that you check under the bundles listing on our website for all of those great options because those are pretty cool. Yeah. I've been waiting for those for a long time. It's, it's cool that they're finally here. It's yeah. been a lot of work us trying to put that together. Um, and so very, very cool stuff just in time this year. So hopefully you take advantage of that. Like I said, chat with someone. We'll help you out. Find the best guitar for you. Because at the end of the day, the best guitar in the world. It's the one that you're making music on with all of your goodies from the pack. I was going to say the best guitar in the world is the one that comes with like 18 feet of paper. And a tuner. And a tuner. <laughs> so... Anyways, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe. We're trying to reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and we appreciate each and every one of you hitting that subscribe button and being part of our community. Turn on those notifications, like our videos, and keep coming back for more. We'll see you next time.
That was fun. Oh, yeah, that was fun. What a mess. <laughs> Let's clean up. Are we putting them? We're putting everything back in there, right? Uh, yeah, when we're done. Thank you.